A senior prank leading to vandalism at Palm Desert High School will prevent some students from walking with their class at graduation. News Channel 3's Jen Franco in the studio after talking, after looking into the situation and talking with parents for this exclusive report. Jen, what are you learning? Hi, John. Well, parents and the school are at odds over whether students involved are facing the appropriate punishment. I heard from both sides, and here's what they're telling us. For my family and I, our boys are good boys, and they made a mistake. It's emotional for Marsha Beasley to talk about missing a milestone in her two sons' lives. Just weeks before their graduation ceremony Thursday, her boys were part of a group of students who vandalized their campus. The senior prank that occurred at Palm Desert High School went too far that day, and it involved maybe 30 plus students. Beasley says she and her husband know what their sons did was wrong. Doing that to school property is pretty disappointing. But she believes that poor decision shouldn't take away from all of their achievements. They are Eagle Scouts and 4.0 and 4.1 students, and they are enlisted with the United States Navy to serve our country. After meeting with school officials, they all agreed on two days suspension, no senior activities, and extra assignments as punishment. Graduating along with the ceremony were never off the table until a few days ago when the principal changed her mind. She said uh, that she now has completed the investigation, and because of that, she's deciding to not allow the boys to walk. Beasley says she's confused by the principal's last minute reversal, writing to the district head about her concerns. The letter requests, quote, that the terms agreed upon during their meeting with the assistant principal, which were subsequently documented and signed, be honored, end quote. Alexis Sanchez is also upset and dealing with the same situation. I actually come from Boston. I had to fly in for my son's graduation, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Sanchez and Beasley say the vandalism included paint and chalk that was washed away and no damage to property took place. They both offered to pay the school and were told it was not necessary. I do believe that all these children should go ahead and walk. We asked Desert Sands Unified for security footage of the vandalism, but were denied by the school district citing the ongoing investigation. We reached out to the sheriff's department for confirmation, but have not heard back. And finally, a lesson for all students. To all the parents and um, future seniors, please think about the consequences before doing a prank. And Beasley tells me the ringleader of the group is being allowed to walk in graduation. She says that individual's parents are teachers at the high school. Now, to be transparent, we have been told by numerous sources that there was a large group of students involved and an incident within this prank was volatile to one teacher. That situation still being dealt with. Now, just moments ago, we received a statement from the school district that says, quote, we are deeply disappointed that this year's graduation celebration was marred by destructive, obscene, and offensive after-hours actions when a number of students gained access to a locked district facility. Appropriate consequences have been assigned for a number of PDHS seniors. This means that they will graduate, but will not be able to take part in the graduation ceremony. It goes on to say decisions like this are extremely difficult, and although the DSUSD community is saddened by these actions, we are hopeful that this will be a meaningful learning opportunity for the students as they move forward with their lives. Impacted DSUSD staff members had counseling and other services made available due to the traumatic nature of the events, end quote. Now, we will be following for any updates as this story develops. Reporting live in studio, I'm Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.